You want to take your stance right here, right with the breath. And John Cha has a nice image. You have a house with only one chair. As long as you're in the chair, nobody else will sit down there. That means anybody who wanders in the house can't take over because you're the one in charge. So sit down with the breath. Stay with the breath. And then any other thoughts that come in, you th treat them as guests. And some of them are guests you'd like to have, others are guests that you'd rather have leave. But because you're sitting in the chair, they don't have the chance to sneak in and take over. If you leave the chair, okay, that's when they take over, and then you find yourself becoming the guest, and they order you around. So thoughts of greed, aversion, delusion, those are easy to see. Greed and aversion. Delusion is harder. So for the time being, just make up your mind. Anything else that comes in right now, you're not going to pay any attention to it. You want to get used to a habit where as soon as a thought comes in, you dissolve it. It's like those old video games. Something comes flying in and you zap it. Others breathe right through it. Don't let it take hold. This way you stay in your seat. And you're the one in charge of deciding who gets to stay and who else doesn't get to stay. But in the beginning, it's good just to not let anybody else stay. So that if you ever find yourself entangled in an unskillful thought, you can pull out quickly. You know the basic skills for dissolving them. That puts you in control. Otherwise, you're their servant. They force you around. Boredom comes in, you've got to do something. Irritation comes in, you've got to do something. Greed comes in. All these emotions come in, and they push you around. As they say in Thailand, they, they squeeze your nerves and force you to go jumping around doing their bidding. So you've got to take control here. You take the seat. You're right here occupying the seat. You're fully in the body, and the body's fully bathed in breath, bathed in mindfulness. That puts you in control. And you remember that just because a thought comes into the mind doesn't mean you have to believe it. You can step back from it and decide is this something worth dealing with or not. But for the time being, you don't want to deal with anything else. That way, even when there are things that you have to think about come into the mind, you have to also ask yourself, is this the right time and place? Because sometimes when the mind isn't really ready to think about those things, you want to put them aside, get the mind into deeper concentration, so that when you come out, you're much more prepared. So get this habit of whatever comes up in the mind that's not related to the breath, just zap it, zap it. Don't let it stay. And this will change the balance of power in the mind. <laughs>